Welcome to episode 47 of the New Billable Hour podcast. Today's topic is quit the drama. Let's get started with three drama-free breaths. So exhale everything. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. The theme for this month is lawyer love. We talked about opening your heart and being vulnerable. And today I want to cut to the chase. We're going to talk about quitting drama. This is very difficult because like you, like me, (laughs) like, like me, you may be addicted to drama. And this is a societal condition where we like we like to feel we like to have uh, very strong sensations we get used to interacting in this way that's very dramatic and that pulls us here and there and if we don't feel that we feel a little bored and we feel like maybe we're not connecting so this this dramatic way of connecting with people has become a way where we feel connection and real True connection comes when there isn't drama. I know it's hard to believe because in the law, we have lots of drama. And that's why there's so many drama shows about the law because it's so dramatic. And honestly, what happens on the shows is not really what happens in real life, but you get the idea. In our heads, we have a lot of drama through, you know, for the court system, for our relationship with clients, opposing counsel, with the law, with politics. We we get very caught up in taking sides and advocating and fighting for what we believe in, which is so important. But I invite you to keep up the good fight and lose the drama. Just not get involved in it. This is a lifelong journey, I understand, like everything else, it's this, this feeling month. But, but the first step is to become aware. Become aware when you're doing something for the drama of it, for the play, for the power trip. I know I do that. We, are we, do we just want to win some argument that's not an actual legal court argument? We just want to be right. We just want to make the other person wrong. (laughs) And then we get that burst of of chemicals that that we won, but we really didn't win anything. And then we just exhaust ourselves and we do it again. So that that those mental gymnastics, that using our brains, using our, our intellect to sometimes bully, right? And this happens to us. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's you, but if someone's doing that to us, we have all the power in the world about whether we let them and how we respond. How can we quit the drama and get our job done and be really, really strong advocates and not pulled in all different directions and then feel like many of you feel exhausted, unproductive, like we didn't get anything done and we just went back and forth. How can we keep moving forward towards the life we want for ourselves, for our loved ones, for our clients, for society, for your community. What kind of change do you want to make? And as you know, be the change that you want to see in the world is is the way to do it. And put in modern terms, quit the drama. And I invite you, even though it's kind of hard, to pay attention to what you're consuming. What are you watching what are you listening to is it does it is it based in drama a lot of that stuff that entertainment is there to feed your habit of drama and you can't get enough we know when we're addicted to something we're on that roller coaster of highs and lows and we want more and more and more and then we crash and we want more and how much are you consuming and what does it feel like i know that a lot of you unplug by watching netflix or getting into some dramatic story, which is definitely good to get into, to, to get into stories, you know? Um, 
and to escape in that kind of way to see another perspective. However, the unhealthy part is that we're going into more drama. We're just leaving our drama and going into another drama. And uh, it may feel good in the moment, but ultimately we're just training ourselves to find pleasure in drama. When, get this, we can live a peaceful life, a calm life that every single lawyer tells me they want. Everyone I talk to says, I want to be calm. I don't want to have so much stress. I want to have a life. I want to be present with my family. I want to enjoy my work. We have to actually make a big change in our habits. And that's not just meditating and sleeping and eating well. All of that is good. Next level stuff is what we're talking about right now is paying attention to the uh, the environment, the interactions that we are letting in. How are your relationships? Do you have any relationships that have so much drama? What is your relationship with clients? And um, to give a moment to the client realm, we brought in the clients that we they came in on our level. So if we are dramatic people, we have brought in dramatic clients. And we may still have some of those clients. And so we can figure that out, figure out a new way to interact. And they might be a rough road. But for attracting in your next set of clients, for the next evolution of you, what do you want? What kind of clients do you want? You know, what, how do you want to interact with each other? How do you want to communicate? How do you want to help them? How do you want to feel appreciated, right? And a lot of that, I think all of you would say, no drama, I just don't want drama. We have to create that. We have to create that inside of us before we can expect the world to mirror that. So uh, a lot of my clients say I'm pretty tough on this, mostly because I have the same problem and I don't know any other way for lawyers other than to be straight up direct, pay attention to the drama you bring into your life and see where you can limit it, little by little. And first step is to observe and to take responsibility that it is not just the other person or the situation, it is us also creating this drama. It takes, takes two to drama. So quit the drama and uh, you'll get on the path to a calm, fulfilling, loving, nurturing life that you've always wanted. Let's close with three breaths together. So exhale everything, take a deep inhale, and exhale, again inhale, and exhale, and last one, inhale, and exhale. I would love to speak with you. One-on-one, -on -one, I offer free initial consultation for 30 minutes where we talk about what's going on with you. Um, it's confidential and I can let you know a little more detail about how I work with people if you're interested. I'm doing a promotion that everyone who schedules a consultation and shows up, do not stand me up, you will get a free book, one of my books, whichever you would like. Okay, so the link to schedule is in the show notes. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Hey, did you like that video? <laughs> Thanks for being here. So did you know you can get a free copy of the new billable hour, uh, the PDF or the audio for free on my website? Head over to newbillablehour.com. That's newbillablehour.com. Go now, right now. <laughs>